Hello, my lovely Scorpio. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Scorpio, today we'll do your daily read for December 3rd and 4th. As you know, loves, this is a general read. Might resonate with you, might not. Take it accordingly. Also, we'll have a Lenormand card for you as an advice. And of course, we'll do the tarot cards and the energies for these dailies. Let's see here, Scorpio, what we got for you for this daily and how we're moving forward. We have 44, a very spiritual card. It's about your stability. 4-4, four, four, number 8. It's all about business, work. As you know, number 8, if you are into numerology, astrology, this reflects... I'm looking for something new. I'm looking for things to come true. But let's hear what this card is about for you, loves. I'll put it here for you to see it clearly. And let's see the meaning, for true meaning for the card is... The name of the card is Magnifying Glass. I am the card that suggests to you to take a closer look or two. If you did not get clarified from an earlier view, I can provide you more focus and a perspective that is new. This card suggests you to take a closer look at things which are in the moment. Now is the time to focus, scrutinize and analyze. Okay? So be very close. For some of you, you are searching things to come clear to you. For those of you who plan a business idea, you need more knowledge for it. For some of you, you're seeking, I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. So as you know, number eight is all about business structure everything needs to be structured but let's see here what the tarot is speaking here and what this is about all right love scorpio spirit give me some insights for the scorpions who are here who are watching here who are drawn to see these videos here you are again another four Definitely here it is about stability, is about opportunities, also is about learning something new who will bring you more stability or the stability you want and seek. Although be very careful for those who are giving you advice is not asked for, okay, because it's something not really what you think is good for you or somebody is not really true to you or wears a false mask. Be very, very aware. Let's see here. We have Archangel Michael, Temperance, Sag Energy, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yes, again, it's about stability. If you feel not stable or not grounded enough, it is coming here. I feel here you waited patiently for this moment or for this time of your life. Because as you know, nine plus one is ten. And ten of Pentacles. There is a, an idea you try to build off for a long time and now it is the opportunity just be very clear what you want also your patient your patience Scorpio have been tested you might strongly deal with a fire sign I have a Leo and I have Sag okay something I don't like this five of Pentacles here but five to nine it is something good to me world ace of cups and seven of wands 
there is some resistance but also what I'm feeling here it is like I needed to do that I need to fight it whatever was in the past needed to be clear whatever was in the past needs to be healed and I feel here you are now stronger than ever I might speak here with a with a single Scorpio somebody feels like I'm not really valued they need to speak up or you the one who is feeling like I'm not enough I'm not or I don't have what I need it is here it is something here about stability and fighting for having stability okay we have three aces it is a good opportunity only ace of ones we don't have it if we'll miss if we'll get it we'll see it but I feel here being honest with your feelings Scorpio that's the big message here also either you either the other person I feel also you've been very much connected with this person in another past life let's see yeah somebody's been waiting for a long time Sag energy again moon energy again moon energy Pisces energy is not again but what I'm feeling here Somebody is afraid to settle down or is that afraidness like is not enough consistency? Somebody needs to be consistent. You've been waiting for a long time. Something is quite not the right thing or something is not really... If you've been waiting for the one, now is a fear like... Of settling down it's kind of dare to risk to have stability if you've been seeking for the one now look closer around you that's also a huge message what the spirit want to give it to you some decisions needs to be made but let's see here why this person feels that way because I feel here you Scorpio you are the one mature here you are the one patient it's not that this person feel not patient I definitely see them there's been a lot of healing could be you could be them but whatever was in the past need to be closed for something new to start and both of you it is love but need honesty too I see you are very confident Scorpio but I don't see this person so much confident. It's just like they are afraid of failure. One of you could be you, could be them. But let's see here. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and Page of Pentacles. If somebody in the past or somebody feels like I don't want to be a failure in what I am going to it's like they try to offer you something small because they're afraid to not lose whatever they have it's kind of like tiny bits I'll give you tiny bits and see I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing Okay, they could be in a in a healing process still because of the past situation, but I feel here they are afraid of to fail again. But they they acknowledge you that you are the real deal here. Why the seven of wands? It is some defensiveness here, but it's also like I will gonna fight for it. Seven of Wands. Magician. You manifested this. I wanted this. I will fight for this. Magician is one. I feel here, I'm talking here with a single Scorpio. 
and with a single other person could be an earth sign could be a Sag, Aries, Leo or a Pisces Queen of Swords I, I feel here you are very clear with your intentions towards this person and it's kind of like I demand you to be the same let's be clear what we are here and why we are here Okay, and moving forward, chariot, cancerian energy here, but I feel here you are just like, I gotta go, I gotta move. For some of you, might need some trouble, but it is still that energy of fear of failure. I don't know who's and who, but Scorpio, this is a past life connection. Emperor, this is you. You could be married with this person in another past life. It's kind of like Emperor is the one who is taking charge, is an, somebody who's like, I got this on my own. I know what I want because I feel here for some of you you have your awakening moment it's like I know who I truly want in my life and I know what I am entitled to like you are very firm with your energy like around you is that energy like I know what I truly want for myself you know it you know it but Judgment and the Emperor to Major Arcana here, you've been with this person married in another life, in a past life. And is in this life, you came up across this person and manifesting this, speaking it up what you truly want and going forward with them. So, Scorpio... If you've been seeking for the right one for you, you have it in front of you. Okay? For some of you, you've been waiting for this for a long time. So, loves, this is what I got for you. Either way, if it's a person or, or a business idea, you know you are on the right path with the Emperor and this Judgment card. It tells me here, Go ahead. We have a few major arcanas here, which is tells me here is a very strong connection from another past life here. We have Aries, Leo, Sag. For some of you could be a Cancerian, a Pisces, but I feel here is mostly your energy. And I see a Libra here with the Queen of Swords. So loves, this is what I got for you. Thank you for watching and I wish all of you many blessings. And of course, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.